What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Nesting Around. Uh, I'm Ricky Doyle. This is the uh, the podcast where we talk about uh, a little bit of everything, but also nothing at the same time. And uh, don't adjust your uh, whatever device it is you're watching this on uh, this afternoon, uh, because we have two two guests coming in here. They, these aren't Mike Cole, that's for sure. Uh, as much as I love Mike, uh, we're joined here by Courtney Cox and Casey McDonald. Uh, guys, I, first of all. Appreciate you coming on today. This is just, this this is yeah. I, what did I call it? The uh, threes company version of, of nesting around. So uh, we're knocking on your door and we're, we're gonna get after it. You well, get all wild over here. We already know who the preferred co-host is. I didn't get an iPad. I told you we could share iPads. No, it's okay. But, I like well, my. Well, I didn't want to mess up pen this. And paper I'm and highlighters and an abundance of highlighters. I should have been born in the 1960s, and I have my. An no, my Cody, this is your debut on Essen Around. It is. It is. Uh, illustrious debut. I'm, yeah. I'm sure it'll be. But been here. Uh, Ka- yeah, Casey's been here before. Love it. She's a you know a veteran of the game. Uh, I actually I smoked our highlighters last time, if I remember correctly. She <laughs> yes. took a couple pokes out of it. I so, got a color. Did you go? Uh, we're gonna smoke those down to the filter today, yeah. probably okay. at mm-hmm. some point. We'll spark them up. Yeah. But uh, all right, so now that we got all that jibber jabber out of the way, uh, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of crap today, really, mm-hmm. which is what we usually do on this podcast. Uh, we'll start, we'll bounce around. I'd like to, uh, we'll probably kick things off with really the biggest story in sports, I guess you could argue, with the Kyrie Irving trade rumors. But I also want to get into, uh, I got some thoughts on the Michael Phelps shark oh. debacle. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> yeah, you guys are pretty passionate about that topic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm more angry about. Ed Sheeran in Game of Thrones, or Michael Phelps not actually racing. Well, but like we get it, you watch Game of Thrones. No, they actually don't know. Oh yeah, you haven't talked about it here. But I, I follow you on anything. Game of Thrones. Yeah, well, uh, quick thought you? before we get into this because I have never watched an episode of Game of Thrones, and I know I'm in the, like the one so percent. Well, yeah, yeah, but I think I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna give it a chance. For the longest time, I held out. I said I don't, I don't do nerd. Yeah. I don't do the whole nerd thing. Yes, I understand uh, that it transcends all of those stereotypes. See, it's become kind of a cult, though. Well, I don't know if it would be able to get into it. Do not compare this to CrossFit. This is Game of Thrones will never be CrossFit. It's kind <laughs> of like every single Monday or whenever it's Monday. I'm sorry. Uh, do you watch a show every Monday? That's so weird. Is that what you're thinking about? Yeah, it's on Sundays. So. Sure. I think you're referring to the Bachelorette. <laughs> right? I can't remember. Slash Bachelor. Can't can't confirm. What about love and not blood and gore? All right. Well, I'm gonna reel us. I gotta reel us back in. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Kyrie Irving. <laughs> Kyrie yeah. Irving. Trade Kyrie Irving. Trade rooms. I made it really hot in here. Yeah. On the thermostat. I'm yeah. going to go turn that down. All right. we gotta, so we got a little mix-up. We're going to go turn the thermostat. It is like oh 95 degrees Jesus. in there right now. Things are going off the rails. So, I, well, so it was quickly. on like the, 60, yeah. and I turned it to 75. We, we were playing the, uh, would actually work. the thermostat challenge, yeah. which and is the new viral the trend. Uh, <laughs> hitting the internet <laughs> like, like a buzzsaw. How long stay in a 12 by 12 studio um, with uh, the heat on? So, yeah. Uh, Kyrie Irving. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> Just throw um, that out there. Any any opening thoughts? Anything they trade? I was mean, surprised yeah. when I first saw it, uh, and especially I mean we got to see him so many times in Boston at the end of the season, <clears throat> and it just seemed like he loved where he was at. Right. And so I was I mean I was surprised. Personally. Yeah, but do you think like Bron Bron kind of being like you know what this is like I'm so over this like yeah. obviously saying you know he he is gonna stay for the next probably yeah. gonna stay next year. Um, I mean is now, but. Uh, then he's out, you know, heading well, to L.A. or whatever. That's kind of my thing is, like, from a bigger picture standpoint, not easy, even as it, like, relates to the situation, but, like, I guess as a as a competitor, mm-hmm. if you're in, like, Kyrie Irving's shoes, do you – I know, would you rather play with somebody like LeBron and be guaranteed a shot at a title every year or kind of branch out on your own, try to build your own legacy, compete as kind of, you know, the guy. The I feel like you can do that after you win. Yeah, yes. I would rather get the rings. Mm-hmm. A so million, just rack up his, percent. I agree. I'm with you. It also Maybe makes life like a whole lot easier for him. Yeah. He doesn't have to deal with the crap. And it's not like he's not a star. Right. He's a star. He's just not the But king. then you argue, do you wait until you're an old dude and then, you know, right. then you kind of are riding the younger guy's coattails. You're kind of on the downward, so. I mean, this I is know. his window. If he's going to be the face of any franchise, right. he's got to do it, you know. Exactly. Now, true. I yeah. guess you could wait to see what LeBron does after the season and then go from there. But, uh, I, I mean, I understand it a, a little bit, but I, I think it's – you could argue it's a little selfish. I, if I'm him, I'm just going to sit there and com- contend next year and take the ring if he can get it. Think right. of the holiday presents Collect my LeBron $25 must give to that team. Like, I know. You would stay for that. What? The holiday presents. 
Oh, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, then, then really, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I haven't yeah. gotten crap around here. You guys haven't gotten anything. I'll give you. Uh, and I some of the people at desk haven't gotten Don't start, because you were supposed to give me something for Valentine's Day, and it didn't pan out. We're not going to get into it, but. Oh. It's true. You were sick for Valentine's Day. I was. You Did you have my hands? No, I got my wisdom teeth out. Oh, oh, oh I remember. Yeah. Okay, sure. I was going to get her volcano flowers. Have you ever heard you of them? Have you ever heard about volcano flowers? Are you setting me up right now? No. No? They're, act they're an actual thing. Yeah, I've, I've gotten them before. <gasps> Lucky lady. For Valentine's wow. Day. From Books. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got nice them. Nice plug there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Maybe they could sponsor this episode. I Who knows? No, I really love flowers. I do oh, too. There's nothing better than fresh. You know what? Uh, there's a grocery store down the street. I'm not pumping anything, but uh, three for 12, a lot of times. It's great. It's a great thing. It's a good deal. I was actually thing. at Target this morning and. Prices were kind of high for flowers, if I'm being honest. I considered it. I saw it. those. They were really so pretty roses. Gorgeous. And I, no, no. Fourteen dollars. It's a seller's market. Yeah. yeah. This is the thing. Like sending roses, great. S spare me the baby's breath. Don't put the baby's breath right. in there. But if I'm buying roses for <laughs> Ricky, myself, if Ricky's I'm buying like, a dozen roses, okay. no baby's breath. Um, is it plural or is it possessive, baby? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I agree, though. I'm not about that. But I won't pay more than twelve, twelve ninety nine, maybe for a dozen roses. Let me get. Is hey, that look, cheap? What do you guys think of the? Uh, you know when you pull up to like a, a red light and they got the flower guy walking around and he sells you the flowers yeah. at like an intersection. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most bizarre, underratedly bizarre How things. How about when in the you world. come out of a club at four a.m. and the flower people are there? You see, that's smart though. That's I know because everyone's business. like, I want a flower. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. great. And for guys, it's a great I've never move. done that. See, see, I understand that, but <laughs> I don't understand where the intersection comes into play. Like, well, who's on their way home from work? And, like, and you have to have ah, cash yeah. on you. I never have cash. Yeah. That's not so like, it's that's like, not like... Guy's not going to break yeah. out his like, credit card machine. Yeah. Maybe with, like, he's, the like, on the phone. The side. Like, maybe homegirl, wifey is on speakerphone, on the Bluetooth. Get me flowers. And he's, like, gripping the steering wheel because he's so angry because she's, like, we're barking at him for whatever yeah. reason. And he's, like, just give me the flowers. Yeah. Yeah. You know? If you're like in a rough spot in your relationship and you see the intersection flower guy, you're probably getting the flowers. <laughs> All right. No, but like no. not well, roses for me. I'm more of like a lily person. Yeah, same. White lilies. Yeah. Daffodils. Aren't those what they sell in like, in like third grade? Oh, yeah. Daffodil, daffodil days. Yeah. Yes. Let's bring that back. Hashtag all about the school. daffodils. Yeah, all about the wow. daffodils, if you will. Uh, all right, let's uh, we'll, yeah, we'll we're really, back we're on track. Let's go back to sports. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Kyrie Irving. Wait, speaking of. Do you think he is going to get traded? At the end of the day, well, people are saying right. the Knicks, right? The Knicks is they one said, possible, yeah. mm -hmm. one possible suitor. Do you think? But like, do you think this is irreparable? He's he's leaving Cleveland definitely. No, I don't think it's no. definite. No, I don't think so. I yeah, if I'm the Cavs, I'm locking him and LeBron in like a, a basement. Yeah. World, saying like, and there's a price tag. Figure on out everything. your problems there. Yeah. yeah. Cavs give him a number that he can't say no to. I mean, if he so. leaves, will they burn jerseys like they as will they that burn as the many jerseys as they burned LeBron? It's got to be so the dumbest thing. Yeah, in the so dumb. People do that. Burning jerseys. What it's if the so Celtics got rid of Isaiah? You're not going to burn his jersey. He's done so much. That's why I, I feel like understand. Celtics fans would burn whoever comes here. <laughs> like if, right, if yeah. Isaiah is traded, That's you like, burn like their jersey. Yeah, but I don't uh, get it. If, no, if Isaiah a player does Isaiah so leave. much for you and then they leave, you're going to burn their jersey? It's like, oh, sick. Yeah. Yeah. That jersey's also going to probably cost a ton 10 years from now when he's yeah. a legend. <laughs> All right. Speaking of burning, the internet was on fire. I like that segue. Oh, gosh. Uh, about the Michael Phelps shark uh, race. I, I really want to quotes. dive into this. Uh, oh, Unintended. Yeah, you, you know what it's about. <laughs> you know what it's about here at Nessing Around. Uh, all right, so people are pissed off about this, that uh, Michael Phelps was, you know, we were led to believe he was going to race a shark. Yeah. And basically it was just a timed, an, est an estimation, I guess, of him, like, sw basically he jumped. So what, he just swam certain, by himself. Yeah. There was a certain, yeah, point A to point B. See, I, Phelps go do it, this guy. I never once it. thought that he was going to just jump into the water with a shark. But I thought maybe there was some sort of uh, contraption that they could I have. Did. with like a. Why couldn't they, come put on. A, put something in between Constructed them. Like a barrier. Pool. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm with you. This is what I'm saying. Like They built half the Titanic and put it in a swimming right. pool. Like, maybe use you could, that one. You could they have, like, a glass. Olympic village. Do it yeah. in the ocean. Yeah. So Or, or not. Jaws was in a pool, wanted to attack everyone yeah, in like Jaws 2 or whatever. Build a, whatever. Yeah, like I'm, an sure you, I'm sure you have like a test tank. Or it was such clickbait. Yeah. Another pun that I'm, I'm not even trying. Yeah, you, <laughs> like gonna, it was. We're going to kick you out of here. You know? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. That up. I also didn't love the little contraption he had on yeah. his feet. Well, see, my thing is like, 
So the way they did it, so basically they just threw Michael Phelps in a pool. I didn't watch it. I'm boycotting it. So no, he was, in, he was in the ocean that. when he did it. Well, okay, it was so too, they threw he him said it was in the too ocean. Cold. So he, the shark beats him by two seconds. Okay. And he said it was you, too cold. That's not, He's like, maybe next whooped, time we can yeah. do it right. in warmer water. Whooped. It's like, come on, man. They I mean, it's, it's like comparing apples to oranges. This <laughs> is not real. It, it makes no sense to do it in the first place. And if he had won, it would have been the worst thing that Shark Week has ever done. Here's a fun question. Yeah. Um, we talked about it yesterday on Nesson Live. Um, Emerson, of course, came up. Emerson Lazio, one of our anchors of here. Course. And uh, we wanted to say, what other pro athletes would you want to see fight animals? And he, of course, said Tom Brady. Maybe race a goat. Race a goat. Oh, that's good. LeBron fight that's a bear. Good. He came up with that one. Yeah. I'd like yeah. to see uh, Conor McGregor fight a kangaroo. That would, that's a good one. Uh, now good. he's on this whole thing where he can just Do fight anybody at any time. With Sans fur jacket or with the fur jacket? Uh... Well, Better with TV with. with it. Yeah. With yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why you know, why skip out on the fur? <laughs> and also it on. Let's roll for with our it. viewers, you can give us questions right now and we're gonna go on uh, Instagram live after yeah. this on Ness and Jason. If you can't get enough of this, it'll be on the uh, the old gram. The old gram and we're gonna answer your burning questions. I'm sure people are just I'm gonna chopping go, I'm at gonna the bit. See. Let's see. Chopping, chopping at, at the, the bit. bit. Another <laughs> shark reference. But okay, so shark uh, that's a horse reference. Oh really? Yeah. Chomp it. Chomping. It can go Chomps. at anything. I like horses. I really am just excited to get to the favorite trophies. Okay. Sorry. Well, before we do that, though, well, Shark it, Week. It, it seems like you, you really must earn up something. You need I to get some on your chest. Go ahead. What's your Because saying? Shark go Week ahead. is so great. People no, love no, it. No, it isn't. Debatable. It's, I, I like it a lot. It's just been around for so long, and it's it's also Shark kind of sucks. sad because it's like that on a the summer's <laughs> coming to a close. It's the end of July. It's always my birthday week, so. Yeah. It's good times. Plug. Wait, Shark it's Week? Birthday. Shark Week. Shark Week's it's my going birthday. On, it's going on right now. But yeah. Uh, you still got summer. Don't tell me summer's yeah, coming to a close. It it's is. the most depressing it thing you've said so a million far. percent coming to a close. Mm-hmm. Oh my yeah. god. But I wish that they had other animal weeks. Oh. Like, like yeah, what? Devoted to another For animal. me, it's a no brainer. They should do a full week of sloths. Sloths? Sloths. Yeah, yeah sl- sloths. Well, this they have no trouble filling time. They just. Go so, slow. so slow, yeah. But there is actually the Franklin Park Zoo does like breakfast with a sloth. Nuh-uh. Aren't they dangerous? Like, aren't they oh, we mean? No. Us, we? Yeah, because yeah. I really want to do it, but I don't want to go and like have an a waffle and just like be staring at a sloth. Like, I want full interaction. I want a picture. Don't they have like razor? You want to share claws? the waffle with? But the they're sloth. like they're nice. I think. I mean, like, I'm kind sure of similar to mine that yes. I have. Yeah. Um, we both are. Sporting very bright nails too. These are birthday nails. This is summer, summertime fun. You are summer fun. <laughs> this is what, this, I feel like such a sloth right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Ew, this is creeping me out. Ugh. But so mine's a sloth. But for you guys, what would your week? Yours would be a cat. Mm, cat week. Yeah, you know what? Because you can go from just regular old house cat all the way to the king of the jungle, man. It's yeah. very wide range. King it's of the jungle, week. Phil. Monkey week would be good. Monkey week monkey would be week. great. They're very People like, would like that. It fascinated me. Dude, yeah. those, those like <laughs> saving gorilla movies, oh, they get me every time. Yeah. Like Mighty Joe Young, great, great flick. I mean, the best movie I've ever seen was, uh, well, in regards to animals, Blackfin, which they talked about SeaWorld. Ooh, that was That's a little depressing, heavy. isn't it? it yeah. yeah but it, it was eye-opening. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you I'm not going to SeaWorld anytime soon. Yeah, I've never been, and I get the whole, like, I want to see an orca do a flip and yeah. jump into the water and splash me, but it's like... No, you know that alone. that's not. Free Willy did it for me. I saw Free Willy. I cry every time. Right. Well, mm-hmm. don't we all? Don't we all? Uh, all right. So, <laughs> I'm on the, I'm on the side of the fence that I think Shark Week's the most overrated thing on TV. It is. I think no, it's 100%. Like, it is. I think it was like cool it. at the beginning, and then people like, it, suddenly it became cool to like Shark Week. They're like Week. guilted into doing. Yeah, it. yeah it's yeah, like, I, and then wait a, and then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, wait, a, why the hell? Why do I care about sharks? I don't care about them the other 51 weeks of the year. Why do I care about them now? Yeah. I went to high school with a kid who ha- got like came back one summer with a shark tattoo right here. Oh, I thought you were going to say a shark bite. No, oh. a shark tattoo. Know, and everybody cool, was like, oh, like, tattoos. what's the meaning? Mm-hmm. The worst question to ask someone, too, about a tattoo. Like, every time I ask somebody, like, oh, uh, your tattoo, like, what does it mean? It's always, like, a terrible story. And I'm like, oh, I feel yeah. really bad now. Wow. And do you really care at the end of the day? It's like, who the hell cares? I mean, yeah, you're right. Uh, but he he literally was like, it was Shark Week, and I wanted a tattoo, and I thought it was appropriate to get a shark. So now he has it on the, his body for the rest of his life. Okay. Well, oh. 
Uh, thoughts and prayers go out to that gentleman. That's like uh, getting we'll like... We'll move on to something else that was on TV. I don't know if you guys saw this. I didn't. Uh, I'm going to call it cornhole for the purposes of this exercise, but it was cornhole, the That's little classic cookout game. Is that what you call it? Is I call it cornhole. Yeah, cornhole. You, you're cool with the cornhole. It's not bags or a bag top. I know there's some, uh, there's a, it's a very polarizing topic. I, See, I don't like calling a cornhole. Wait, what do you call it? What did I'll call it like bag toss. I know, I know I'm weird for that. I just, I don't know. Cornhole like doesn't sit well with it's corn, it's cornhole. Yeah, I even know, I fully acknowledge, you guys are right. That's what it's called. I just, I don't know. I mean, maybe me I don't. Bit. I feel like there. I feel like it's like uh, we're we're missing something with all of these names. Bags. Okay, like, what would you like me to do with the bags? Or like <laughs> yeah. cornhole. Okay, like, what about it? Or right. like bag toss. Where am I throwing this bag? Yeah, where like, where exactly am I we're, tossing? We're just this? we're almost there with yeah, all. We're getting of there. <laughs> it's, we're evolving. It's, I don't think works. I've ever heard it called bag toss though. I've heard it called bags, which really just bothered. Bags yeah. is in the same category oh as like. God. Actually, it's not as worse. At, it's yeah, not as bad as like kinda, seller and pocketbook stupid. for me. It's kind of like calling like baseball like ball throw or something. <laughs> like, ball it's hit. basically outlining what you do in the game, which I mean, Lisa, it yeah. pretty really narrows it down for you. I mean, I guess. Uh, hey, did you ever play that game where, um, what is it? You, I think you have like a spike in the ground. You put a beer bottle and you try to like hit it with a frisbee. Yeah, I never yeah, played I that, but it that. sounds really cool. That's hard. It's yeah. really hard. I, I'm terrible hard with too, the frisbee. Yeah. I get a, like a case of the yips when I start throwing. Like, if, <laughs> like if I like throw one bad frisbee toss, like I'll throw about 19 for bad oh. frisbee Yeah, toss. I always try to do it's it with all, my dog at home, and I'm like not good at frisbee. It's weird. Uh, my yeah. dad loves frisbee. My, I've never seen him more excited than last 4th of July. We're in Maine, and all the guys were like playing frisbee, and my dad's like, I could see him. Like he was in a seat like wanting to go up. I'm like, Dad, go for it. Yeah. That's so like, like, and he was really beach. good. But that's so like their prime. Like think right. of your parents on the beach in the 70s. Like, this is true. Yeah. 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 I had yeah. some guy ask me uh, at the beach, a few weeks ago, if I wanted to play some frisbee, I'm not gonna say no. Oh. So I went out there, sling the old disc around with him for a little bit. And then Were you I good. Who was better? Oh, he was way better. Yeah, Are you kidding me? it's and definitely I, a generational thing. Yeah. So, but then like I, I slowly had to like get somebody else involved in the game. And Here's I a question. Like, and then I checked out. Here's a question for Courtney. Okay, so you're you're cruising down right. the beach. I can't answer this. You probably won't want to answer it, but you, you the floor is yours, <laughs> so you can answer it if if you so choose. So if a if there were two guys playing frisbee on the beach. Or yeah. two guys throwing a football on the beach. Football. Which one would you like better? Every day of the week. Like the frisbee guy would be like, this be could go rogue. But like I'm gonna get Marsha Brady right here. Actually, I don't trust I'm frisbees. Gonna th- curveball. Vortex. It's gonna be a vortex. So. <laughs> curveball. If it was frisbee, football, and spike ball, I'm going what's, spike ball. What's spike ball? Neither you would you. like spike ball. What is spike ball? <laughs> spike ball is like I could just picture you like. like Enamored with guys playing spike ball. It's the it's like a little trampoline. Oh, they have shock tattoos over there. They have the little contraption and it's a ball, and you like have to spike it off the trampoline, and then somebody else has to, it can't touch the ground. But people are like diving. It's people it's bring intense. trampolines. To it's would you watch that on TV? Because that was going to be yes. our next question. Which cookout? Game? And the guys that are playing now are the cornhole like, is on like, one of the the 700 ESPNs over the weekend. Uh, like which which cookout game would you put? In? Would you put spike ball? Or yeah, and it would get. Tons of views. Huh. Southie Beach every like Sunday night uh, afternoon. It's like spike ball tournaments. The whole that's beach. crazy. I've never seen that in my life. Guys in Southie love a good spike ball game. Yeah. Yeah. Spike ball. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like well, you, you've definitely seen. I it. don't. I I don't know. I, it's yeah, not. Like, it doesn't look like a trampoline. It's like a net that it bounces off of, and people get really into it. I'd like Lady. to see some sort of competition, including those uh, Velcro. The Velcro things that the Velcro oh my God. So I love God. the sound when you wow. peel it off. Yeah. It's like, yes. <laughs> and when it hits it, you know what yeah, I'm so All you gotta do is like throw your hand General. A skimboard suck. It's, I always just see people dangerous. like people I, like wreck themselves. Right, right after I was done playing frisbee with my uh, my new friend a couple weeks ago, <laughs> I, I got caught up in a uh, in a rant about the skimboarders because like dude, those things catch you in the ankle, you're done. Yeah, you, you, you are got the done. ankle to deal with. You got the old banana peel oh. fall to deal with. And you're not you got, on I don't water. Know, potentially you're shallow, drowning. You like, go like two feet. Like is yeah. that fun? You run 50 yards to go <laughs> about 15 feet. And tops. then you like coast. But it's, like, it's a people, terrible. If you're like in California, where like that's people like love that yeah. diehards, they'll go off waves and do like flips. That's cool, but like I'm not yeah. risking also, my life to do that. Yeah, uh, and uh, then the board comes down on your like neck. Yeah, <laughs> I'm also not sold on uh, boogie boards for anybody over the age of ten. There's got to be a cutoff. If you go into a store and you buy a boogie board and you're not like ten years old, they exactly. should, they should throw you right out into the open <laughs> street. I disagree. We always used to go get boogie boards. Um, my thing is, I don't like going under the water. 
I, I have like I have contacts. As a kid too, first a. thing you do with a boogie board, what do you try to do? Try to stand on it. Yeah. Try to no. And it just sinks. Yeah, you try to. No, 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 no. I would oh, wait until well, the I would wait until the tide was wait. out, and I would just like cruise a little bit. See, oh, I hate. Oh no, I hate going underwater. The I think one of the best feelings in the world, you can quote me on this, is going underwater. I there's I no it. better feeling than like a it's wave. Do you have contacts? Really? <laughs> Do you have contacts? No. I oh, should. see, I can't open my eyes. But like, don't like, wear them in yeah. the ocean. I can't see. Neither can I'm, I'm yeah. literally blind. Yeah. So can I? Uh, mm, I maybe well, you're pres- not opening prescription your eyes, goggles. Though. Yeah, Please do not go get goggles. Casey. Yeah, like you know how people like these like Instagram models do these like cute videos and they're like diving underwater and they're like waving. It's yeah. like I could never do that. I'd be like, <laughs> but like I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like a big wave is coming your way. Oh, I hate it when people dive into. Oh no, it's no. the best feeling. No, I'm gonna get the undercurrent's gonna take me and then the lifeguard's gonna have to. No, 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 I don't do that. You Sorry. sound like a treat to be. I am not. Oh no, 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 I don't do the water. Thank you. You have a great yeah. pool. You should. I like pools. Pools are safe. You'll go underwater. Go. Safer. Uh, briefly. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, Let's we're going to get to a little, uh, we're going to do a little viral breakdown here. We haven't done that in a, uh, a few weeks on Nestor now. But first, I, I do want to <laughs> touch on this one topic that I know is near and dear to everyone's eye. Uh, it's the J-Lo, A-Rod uh, relationship. <laughs> uh, they, it, I thought they were on the fritz there for a little bit. Then they, they, they were on their way out. There were some reports that, yeah. uh, you know, A-Rod was... I don't know, it's just some funny business going on there, but apparently not because they had a little birthday bash. Oh, in little. which they oh hey. look at this, look at this, look showing at her some skin. abs. That I'll tell is you what, insane. She turned forty-eight. She's looking good for forty-eight. She has children. That yeah. is nuts. It's, yeah, she looks phenomenal. He's forty-four. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Maybe Probably. I think Makes so. Sense. Oh, yeah. so she's a little older. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, she Anyways, great. how long is this thing gonna last? I bet they get married. Yeah, I say they get married. They get married. Oh, but then they're gonna be. Has A Rod been married? Yes, once, right? Uh, yeah, I think he was he married. Like, with, yeah, his know. his kids. I, think. I haven't been keeping as close tabs as I probably should yeah. on that uh, um, on that front. No, I think they they can, I, I can see them getting married. Out. I think like marriage and and it's signed, sealed, delivered. That's, yes. Forever. Yeah, and a baby. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe. I don't know Forty-eight about that. though. I mean, surrogate or yeah. adopt. They can adopt. I yeah. give them uh, <clears throat> eight months. Not even marriage. No, God, no, it's gonna crash and it's gonna be ugly too. Tabloids. Oh wow. You think there's gonna be infidelity? Oh yeah, hundred <gasps> percent. Yeah. I don't like Becky, this. I, I'm not rooting for it. Who's gonna happy I'm ro- they look? I'm rooting for true love. They all right? had a joint birthday look party. At his body yeah, language. you know these celebrity uh, relationships. They always, I don't know. I also love his suit. Or whatever. It's a great suit. Yeah, I'm into it's it. not bad, but it also looks like one of those like vibrant ones you get out of the box at like Kohl's. Mm. Okay, but you know that like A-Rod's the one not size. getting a vibrant suit out of it. We don't know that. You don't know that it's at like all. It's like the Halloween costume. Yeah, like one of those ones, one size fits all. <laughs> Probably like polyester. And they just like stretch, the pants <laughs> stretch out like like this. Uh, oh, all I right. like it though. <clears throat> okay, well, so you guys think this is it forever? Yep. I just True love love. love. Wins out. I love love. Too. I'm a little more pessimistic, which is pretty much right in line with my thoughts on a lot of things in life. So. Would you like a highlighter to smoke? Are you okay? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, let yeah, me yeah. spark up a highlighter. I'm gonna go with the green one. Green one. A little more Courtney. manly. All right, so after we spark these up, we're going to get to the uh, viral breakdown. Uh, Another big story over the weekend was Jordan Spieth's performance at the uh, the Open Championship. Uh, It was was a fun final round, that's for sure. That 13th hole was, uh, that was kind of mind numbing, Mm -hmm. though. I mean, it was like, he spent like four hours between his tee shot and his next shot, which was, uh, if I was Matt Kuchar playing with him, I would have rang his neck, but that's a different story. Uh, But if we can pull it up, we got the video of him uh, drinking out of the Claret jug. Legend. Not the first time he did that. No. He did that a couple years ago. People gave him flack, but and they were like, is, dude, you're not going to win. Yeah, th- but this is him winning it now, so he can drink all he wants. Uh, it's a pretty good device for drinking it's out of. It's an unbelievable, like, it's, it's made to drink It's out perfect. Of. If you do, if you pour like too fast, so that's going right up your nose. Yeah. Straight it's up like your nose. Yeah, it's like champagne when you try to drink It's like Das Boot. You gotta, there's a certain, like, element to it. No, that thing is great. Claret jug. Definitely gets two thumbs up. What so, do you think he has in it? <clears throat> uh, it's probably not even. We don't there's even probably know nothing in it. Yet. There's definitely nothing yeah. in it. Yeah. Really? Otherwise, I feel like he'd get some. At least a little drippage on the side of the face. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Uh, no, uh, he, he sold it there. Yeah. yeah, he sold it there. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I, I say yeah. What? Uh, that's a pretty badass trophy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, me and me and Mike talked about this a few few weeks ago or a few months ago. I don't know. It's all blended together at this point. 
uh, <laughs> Aaron Ness around the feet. Yeah. At, at some point in your life. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, at some point down the road. We talked about our favorite trophies in sports. Yep. Uh, I mean, I feel like the Stanley Cup. I run away. a thousand it. trillion yeah. zillion percent. You can eat I don't even cereal think it's out of it. It's so diverse. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's you can put your babies in it. Yeah. You can do, yeah, you can do you it can all. You can do anything with that trophy. Cereal, booze, and babies. And right it's there, like, right? yeah, it's been around forever. I mean, you could say NBA, you know, all, all these trophies are great, but this is the, so know, the what same about, one every year. What about aside from the Stanley Cup? That's what I'm getting at is, because I think we could all agree that one's pretty badass. Mm, MLS but, Cup is pretty sweet. You know it's what's like pretty America underwhelming is like the World like Cup. For something that I'm yeah, led to I believe agree. is like the, the coolest like event in the world, mm -hmm. you know, obviously it's the World Cup. Yeah, that's a. Stu it looks like it's wrapped in gold tin foil. <laughs> but are we are we basing just trophies? Because like, if I could win anything in the world, it would be an Olympic gold medal. No, I'm out yeah. on the Olympics. Uh, I'm, I'm not, not an Olympic person. I'm not an Olympic person either. I'm you're not. On, you're on an island at this one, Courtney. Yeah. I know I'm going to get like so shamed for that, but I'm not an I Olympic person. I sob from the start I, of the Olympics to the end. I like the idea of the Olympics. I like yes, the idea of like the world coming together and like this, <laughs> this huge sporting event. But the, the competitions themselves <laughs> blow. So you wouldn't have loved if blow. Boston had gotten the The only cool one is the one where you ski a bunch and then you shoot a gun and then you ski a little more. It's like the most novelty collection of things in the world. Is it biathlon? You become a bi professional biathloner. But other than that, like, what do I care about gymnastics? Everything. Why? I don't care it's about so it. It's so impressive. For, it is impressive. I will for say four that, years, yes. I don't care about gymnastics. And all of a sudden, I'm supposed to care about the, but these girls the balance are like, beam. They're supposed the to be balance like sophomores in high school, and they're winning Olympic gold no, medals. It's and it's like, cool. Go to the local high school. <laughs> Go to the middle school. Catch up a little competition. Yeah, he's, he's like, well, can't you just be a cheerleader and zip it? Like, yeah, yeah. No, I'm teasing. Oh, I'm okay. teasing. Okay. That's real I, I, I was a cheerleader. Relax. Yeah, BC, go BC. <laughs> That's Courtney, not me. I went to Nova. You're like, so, oh, you, no, what do you, so all right, go on. What do you like about the Olympics? I just, everything about it. I think the parents, I think the stories, I think the fact that these kids at 16 can do ridiculous, I mean, this is gymnastics, obviously. I mean, they're like, dedicated, they're yeah, driven. Basketball, they have a lot of these 16, but. Yeah. I just think it's so cool. Mm -hmm. I think everything about it, and I cry so much when yeah. they're crying. Yeah, I agree with all these, but I, I'm talking about the actual sports. I just think find boring as hell. I'd rather have cornhole. You don't. You Put don't cornhole get cornhole in there. You're not like screaming oh, bag at toss. a Put bag toss in there. You're not screaming at a TV when like Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte are going after oh, each nah, other. Not really. I mean, it's crazy yeah, to it's me. Whatever. But anyway. Unless they throw a shock in that pool, and then really, it's <laughs> it no, all comes no full circle. If you're a man uh, at night, you gotta be a yeah. man in the morning. So, all right. So we all agreed to Stanley Cup. Anything else? What which would you like? What would you like to bring to a party? Like, what are you drinking on? Anything good? I'd like to bring like these. I think these are stupid trophies to give away. Yeah. But like, I like Wimbledon. Like, you get the plate. I love that. I'm showing up, show up at a dinner party with a Wimbledon. How about a garland plate. of roses? How badass yeah. would that be? People would be like, is that Beyonce? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're, yes, it is. You yeah. show up. WWE belt. You yep. slap down the old uh, Wimbledon plate and say, yeah. you put some rolls on it. <clears throat> yep. Put that in the middle of your Thanksgiving dinner. Taking it uh, more locally, uh, the bean pot's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool looking trophy. Yeah, I great agree. trophy. And whoever wins it, I mean, they treat that thing like the Stanley Cup. Especially going to a college party. I get anxiety looking at the uh, college football, the glass football. Oh, yes. That Same. one's cool. I, I but they have like, the people when they pass that around, before. like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm on like, the edge dude, of my seat. Everyone's like sweaty hands. It's like, no. Well, did you hear um, Kate Mara <laughs> was on Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel, one of the Jimmy's? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I, and, I yeah, them. and she was talking about like how she had this was she's married now, but she had this boyfriend who was from England or something, and obviously the Maras own the Giants. Mm -hmm. So they had the Lombardi trophy at their house or something, and it the guy her, she was dating, not into football at all was trying to impress the family, was holding it, dropped it, oh, and tried to catch it with his foot and dented the trophy, or like broke it or something. Like not a good look. Obviously she didn't marry him, so, but. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Talk about your all time backfires. But like, yeah, so that's a backfire for types of trophies that could be dented or broken. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's not, that well, makes body trophy, so it kind of stinks. Triple crown yeah. trophy in uh, baseball is pretty cool. Mm. Actually, a crown. What about the World Series trophy? It's a polarizing it's trophy. It's very dangerous. It's a lot. It's, like it's a very sharp. Better spikes on Oh my God. <laughs> you trip and fall on that thing. You get some You're puncture done. wounds. It's a Game of Thrones right there. Oh boy, here we go. Here Before we, go. we get into the Game of Thrones. Take those things off and talk, shoot them as arrows. Uh, 
let's move along to the uh, the second half of this viral breakdown. I want to touch on this uh, drive-by dunk challenge. Oh, it's hilarious. I'm over it. But in, as we, before we get into it, you know there's a basketball hoop right outside of yeah. our office? I can't dunk there. But it's, yeah, it's really there's cars parked under it. Oh, right. yeah. My car's actually. They gotta move that right crap. Now. So I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna throw down a slam a jam on one of these days. Here, there's I'm gonna need a basketball right there. Up, but uh, yeah, they gotta move that cars. But anyways, so <laughs> what do you think of this whole thing? I think you, it's fake. You, it? you think it's fake? Well, I think Calipari's was fake. I didn't see that one. He pulls in to like a oh his yeah we'll get to that. Huge mansion. Um, well, I think we gotta pull it up in a, in a few minutes. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Well, well. What do you think? Of, like the trend as a whole, though, like people doing it, like random people, not even celebrities. Like I think it's kind of boring. Yeah, yeah. I think it's funny because like the fails, like people that are falling, see, or yeah, yeah, dogs fun. chasing. I them. think it would be more interesting if you kept the car rolling and you got out. Like you ghost ride the car, get out, throw it down, you got to jump back in the car. There's a Kids, little don't more. Don't try that at home. I'm just saying, you, there's a little more Have of a, uh, a little more risk involved. No, you know what? Okay, so here, like Jalen Brown did it. He was driving and he didn't bring his own basketball. I think you need to bring your BYOB. Like oh, bring yeah, your own yeah, basketball. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> million percent. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm I just, just think it, there should be another aspect, but it's funny when it goes terribly wrong. Yes. Agreed. That's uh, why I like I watching them. I guess it them. beats the mannequin challenge. Oh, oh so, yes. So, all right, let's grade some dunks. Yeah. Oh, I think we got a few that we can pull up. Challenge. All right, here's our first one. This is uh, this is the first one I saw <laughs> actually. Yeah, it's Anthony Davis. Uh, I gotta take a swing of the old Red Bull. See, BYOB, <laughs> good job. Juice. Do you think, you, do you think he's Davis. sponsored? Bring your own bowl too. Do you think he's sponsored? This is the lamest one I've seen though. I like because that. Because he can that basically like. He's like reaching down to put the ball in the hoop. It's like basically throwing away some and there's, paper. There's Danny. no one there. Is Danny Ainge getting his ass whooped by his kid? Yeah. Look, at, he just stands there and like he's a little like. This isn't even a drive by. Th th this is their there's house. There's no car involved. This is just right. a pickup game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this Jalen Brown's is legit. No, no, no. no he, is, these people definitely knew. Watch. So you're in like this is a small. Yeah, road. they knew, but this so is this a is legit dunk. This is a small dunk. road, and you're playing in the road. You don't even turn around. This little you don't even turn around and look. You, there's a car behind you. There's a guy running up to you, oh, pick and then this kid just keeps running towards him. Yeah, yeah. but that's a that's a good throwdown. It was a great. Do yes. you, so you think that this was like staged, kind of? The fact that he's rolling with the no shirt, cruising I like that. That's great. Pretty B, this B okay, this is Cal's house, a million percent. There's yeah, no great soundtrack he has going too. Yeah, great car too, but he pulls into this huge mansion. Like that's his house. Come on. This is also like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. yeah like. right? I think it's I think it's really it cool out. when it's famous people doing it. It takes him four hours once he gets to get from the car to the hoop. LeBron James needs to do it. Look at look at this. Who has a hoop that small? <laughs> okay, I guess I, I that's what I would need. I would need like the Fisher Price hoop. Right, but oh, you know man. what I mean. He knows that that hoop's in he's the gotta, back. He's got to go ice down after that. He's or it's like his like so friend's long. house or something. Yeah, it's definitely well, not a stranger's. And if house. you're gonna do the dunk challenge, you need to be in the passenger. Well, seat. I'm a, I'm gonna say. So who's your favorite? Uh, I'm going with Jalen Brown. Yeah, because yeah. his dunk was good. Yeah. And okay. if it wasn't staged, it's pretty cool. Although it's very Calipari's cool. is pretty good just because of how random and weird novelty. it is. Yeah, and just, it's like at night. It's yeah. Mysterious. Like someone literally said, like, oh my god, you didn't post your dunk challenge? Like you have to post it before. He was the like, day let me get in the car. They probably took it like, let me go to my neighbor's house yeah, quick. Forty. They had to explain it for 45 minutes yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so I throw the ball in the hoop? Like, what's going on here? It is cool, though. Imagine, like, looking on Instagram or Twitter, and it's, like, your house, and you didn't even see it happen, yeah. but it's, like, LeBron James. This is going to end yeah. badly. There's going to be an incident here. Whether it's somebody, I'm not saying somebody famous, but somebody's going to get, like, a shotgun pulled on him or something. Oh, my gosh. Or, like, no, I don't want it to happen. I'm just saying, like, somebody's going to trespass and, like, they're going to just try, yeah, just trying to do the, like, you know, have fun in games, the drive-by yeah. dunk challenge. Somebody's not going to know what it is, and they're going to be, like, you gotta, you gotta hit the bricks, pal. Yeah. And this is gonna end badly. So be safe out there. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm saying. Is like, pick your spots if you're gonna get a hoop to jam on. Kids, be yeah. safe out yeah. there. You know. Preferably do it with a neighbor that you know, yeah. somebody yeah. that's you know ha is stable. Yeah. Uh, we should all do it. I would suggest that. Maybe you know, do what Jalen Brown did. Ask for permission. Well, we could do yeah. it if they people weren't parked. So like, I'm parked out there. there right now. I'll move. Oh, my you're car. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. under it. All right. Anyways, I'd like to do the drive-by finger roll. Maybe the layup because I don't think I'm gonna be able to throw it down on that. The hoop. grandma, no, yeah, it's yeah, the, the drive-by type of shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a short. Next, you need next a viral short. trend. All right, before we wrap things up here, 
Uh, we're going to be at uh, training camp here this week. We are. Down at Gillette. Yep. Thursday. That's going to be a blast. Yeah. Uh, I'll be there Friday, Saturday. In, uh, when are you going to be there? Friday, Saturday. This rain Friday, needs to Saturday. end. Are you guys are going to get hooded Belichick out there. Yeah, right? I'm ready to, I'm actually just sick of this weather in general. I'm ready to jack the heat back up. I want to get back to the beach. Oh. It's too cool. It kind of, though, gets me excited for the fall. I don't know about I'm that. I'm like ready. I'm ready. Courtney's going to show up at Gillette with Uggs and a pumpkin spice latte. Oh, <laughs> basic sure. season. So be like, uh, Courtney, it's 80 degrees. She'll You're be like, like oh, it's what? football season. <laughs> there, there's nothing I love more than college football season. <laughs> Football's great. Yeah. Football and like the, great. especially in Boston, like the yeah. foliage. Oh, I'm not ready, though, I love for football as much as anyone. Just really? I went, I went shopping the other day, and there's a whole aisle of pumpkins yeah, and skeletons. Yeah, too early. And too early. Too soon. And back to school stuff has been in school stores since like three weeks ago. Are book socks still a thing? I loved book socks. They were so expensive. They were. So you had to like keep them the next year. That's why yeah. you have one with the old brown bag Oh, brown that's bag what we over. did. Yeah, yeah, my dad was so good at it. The lines were so perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to Everyone love jealous. school supply shopping. Oh my, my gosh, My mom still talks about it. She's like... Courtney on school you always supply got shopping day was like Christmas morning. I, I guarantee you got so much crap that you didn't even use. Like I used you, all of it. You'd get like oh. no, you'd get like the pen with like twenty different colors. Like no, what, when are you gonna write? I hated that. When are you gonna write yeah. in yellow? That one did not write well. I don't yeah, it like sucked pens. writing. And when are you ever gonna use like I don't like magenta? But like, look at me right now. I, I own color three calendars. As, I, as look, I'm smoking an eyeliner. If we take one of these cameras and walk it out, which wouldn't work, to Courtney and my desk, our desk calendars color coordinated, yep. like oh, super I know. You guys are psychos. Yep. Yeah. I have Crazy. I have one that's on my desk. That's month. I have one weekly on my desk. And I carry one and on I my carry, person. Yeah. <laughs> you go to mine. I have a desk calendar that I. I claimed I was going to write down a thought of the day. And what, you get a like random text, thought of the day? You get like the uh, iPhone reminders 15 minutes before Basically, your appointments? It, yeah, essentially. Uh, I haven't updated it since February, though. Oh, uh, you really need to get on that. People yeah. are always like, why don't you just use I'm gonna your phone? I'm going to close out the no, S-Strong. I mean, it's not color it. coordinated. I can't see it. it. No. I'll close out 2017 with the bank. Close it out. Strong. We'll buy you a calendar, a, you know, an old school paper pen calendar that you got to keep up with. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll close this out in a minute. but. I did want to touch on, because of some talk, since we're going to be down there anyways, and I'm sure this might be a topic of discussion, mm-hmm. a lot of the undefeated talk surrounding this year's the Patriots. The Today just said it yesterday. They predicted it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Whether that's legitimate or not, you buying any of this? Is this, do you think it's possible? Don't ask Julian Edelman. He doesn't want to hear it. Uh, I'm going to ask that's him. What, no, that's what he said <laughs> like two ask. weeks ago. He was like, no, this isn't Hollywood. There are no cameras. Yeah. This is. Actually, for the Patriots, though, they are pretty. They, they are pretty Hollywood. Super People, Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Not. That's, I mean, you know, because good they're great. Those I'm kind of surprised that there when hasn't been be like a yeah. movie of the last Super Bowl out like in works yet, like Mark. Yeah. Produced and written by Mark Wahlberg. It's gonna happen. He will be Tom Brady as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be like. He would be like Julian Edelman. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I could. Maybe. I could see that. Yeah. That could work. Who would play Tom Brady? Ben Affleck. I'll check my uh, one of the one right. of the one of the Boston guys. Check yeah. my thought calendar. Yeah, but I don't know. I I hate saying like it's going to be an undefeated season because usually I'm more yeah. superstitious. Oh, I just go all in. Hashtag all in. Let's do it. No, I mean that's yeah, kind of yeah, it's very it out happen, there. Go fourteen and two and win the Super Bowl. Yeah, and I'm okay. all right with that. There you go. That's cool. So you're saying back to back Super Bowls? Yeah. Why not? No days off. I love it. All right. Hopefully it doesn't snow. Oh god, with that I am gonna yeah. get out of here. Well, uh, once you start talking about snow, that's when I that's when I bail. Minnesota. Gosh. No, I mean for the parade. Oh, I'm ta- I'm talking about the victory parade already. Oh, you're already the last ahead. parade was. You guys going to Tom Brady's birthday in uh, Faneuil Hall? No. What? Kind of the throwing signs. <laughs> very weird, mm-hmm. but it's like the on Tom Brady's birthday they're getting everybody together in Faneuil Hall allegedly. Is Tom I read Brady this gonna somewhere. be there? No, but a life-size cutout of Tom Brady is going to be Even there. better. So, I mean, it's basically the same thing. Uh, so if you want to get down there and warm up the vocal cords and sing happy birthday. Let's convince. What's worse, if you means. go to Tom Brady's birthday party that Tom Brady's not at, or if you go to... What's more pathetic? Is this what you're getting at? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, I mean, I'm gonna I go wouldn't want to... Not even knowing what your uh, second option is, I'm probably going to take that one. Yeah. Oh. We should get NFL dicey. News Hound to Or going to the Barclays <laughs> Center and waiting for three hours for McGregor and Mayweather to show up to throw money in the air. That was actually pretty funny. Yeah. I it worth it at the end. Yeah. The tickets yeah. were free, so that was a plus. People also, if we're talking about things that are kind of, like, overrated, something really sad happened uh, yesterday that we didn't touch upon. Justin Bieber canceled the rest of his tour. Uh, I did see that. I was going to screenshot it and send and it to The world you. collectively cries. It's sad. But I think 
think that's a good note to end on. Yeah, no, Pretty that's sad. perfect. That's but we're going to do questions. We after. are going to do questions if you'd like to uh, join us on Instagram. Yep. Yes. Uh, you would know more of the details. Nesson's Instagram account. Nesson's Instagram account. We're going to answer a whole bunch of questions. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's see what happens with that whole yeah. thing. I'm excited. Uh, but this was great. This is great. Time. How long have we been here, Bob? I feel like we've been here a while. People at home. Yeah. That's all right, though. 12.43, So, all right. No, it's perfect. It's coming on 40 minutes. Oh, oh producer Mark. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Well, we, we did get in on um, the tangent of uh, the beach games for about 30 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. But, it's my call. Oh, thank you, Mark. <laughs> little angel. All right, so that's going to do it for this edition of Nessing Around. Thank you again for joining us. Hopefully you stuck through to the, to the end, to the duration, and dealt with our rambling and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, and if they are, well, you know, no days off. Sure, we'll up about keep it. pushing forward. So uh, thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon. We're signing off. Oh, you got yeah. to oh, oh, yeah. oh.